Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day, uh, what is it, 27 of the Leaco Day Challenge. Wow, my loading is a little bit slow today. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm, and yeah, hit every button. Uh, okay, so today's farm is Flattened Binary Tree to Link List. Okay, uh, let's see, is it more is true? So we want to do it in all of one extra space. Um, if we don't do it in all of one extra space, it's, you know, this is just regular. Like if you want to do it in linear space, then you would just do um, literally a pre-order traversal, put it into um, uh, putting into like a, a list, a literal or like an array list, and then just iterate through it and then connect everything together, right? So that would be pretty straightforward, and you could do that in I don't know. I, I would expect people to do it in a couple of minutes. Is with enough practice, of course. If you haven't practiced, then it's going to be a little bit harder. Um, can I do an all of one extra space? I think that depends on the the invariance, and I don't think that I. Hmm, I might have to think about it a little bit. So I'm thinking about the the extra all of one space. Otherwise, this is pretty straightforward. Um, at least for me, practice makes perfect, I suppose. Okay, so then let's see, right? So let's say we start at the root node on, and then what happens? Well, we want to go to the left and we want to set the right to the left, right? Is that true? Kind of, maybe? I mean, I don't know if it, I don't know if it generalizes, but, but let's, uh, okay. Maybe I'll just use a drawing thing instead of using ASCII art today. So, okay. So that's, uh, let me, give me a second. Let me get it brought up. Mm. Okay. And uh, now, okay, so let's say I have, because um, the hard part about these palms, and it's similar to, ooh, this is a little bit big, similar to uh, the linked list palms that you might have, oh, I guess we only need the left side. Um, similar to the linked list palm that you may see is that when you change a pointer um, with respect to like what does the left and the right point at, when you change those references, then you have to make sure that the invariant that you're thinking in your mind is still true. And also that there may be multiple steps to keep to make sure that the invariant is true. So I'm trying to think for it, uh, maybe a little bit slower today, but you know, trying to do the right thing for once. Hopefully that, that's good. So here, let's say we have one, right? So, okay, we have the wood no, that's one, that's good. And then we want to connect this to two. I mean, obviously. But how, how do we do this, right? We go to the left. Uh, mm. Okay, so then... I mm, Okay, maybe another way I can phrase this is... Okay, so let's say we have one, right? So we want to go next, and in fact, we want to go this entire subtree next. That means that we want to go this is entire subtree because it's pre-order before the five, right? That means that maybe thinking about it backwards, we can say this. Th so then now we store the five somewhere, we because this is the old pointing to the right. We we store it and then we go we go okay, let's do all of the left stuff first before it goes to five, right? Right, and then now here. Um, so then now it processes one, and then it, you know, maybe some some way of doing it. We have to figure out how to do an all one, and that's not trivial, uh, of the five after that. And be, and then while this happens, so we will go recursively almost now. But, mm, eh, but is that going to be... Cons oh, well... Mm, Yeah, I don't know that that's going to be constant extra space if we do it funkily. So anyway, so then this goes to, so now after doing the five, we go, okay, this is the two, right? Maybe we can play around some pointers this way. So now maybe maybe another way of thinking about it, and this is what I would sketch on my, 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 my paper pad. So I'm just thinking it through. Let's say we have one, right? Now we have two three, four. This is before we modify these things. And then the five, what do we do? 
we still have a five floating around and we want to connect them, right? Mm. Because we want to, we have to be able to store only linear amount of these and you cannot, or, or, or sorry, a constant amount of these extra nodes in a good way, right? So we just, if we got to just did a modification here, I don't know that that's good enough. And also this five will be five, six, say, but how do we do it? How do we keep, like, how do we know which one to go? Oh, maybe the other way is just doing it the opposite way, meaning getting the last notes first. Can I do that by going to the right side? And what I mean by that is that if we go down the two's right side, then the, we'll connect the four to the five. And then here, going back, now processing the two, because it has a left, now we go one, two, um, we put the, no we go left, we go to the left's most right column, and then connect it to the four. Is that true? Is that is that a, a principle? That, so then now here, I'm trying to think whether this makes sense, but I'm going to articulate it one more time because I think a, a, a few of th this stuff is in my head. But is that we we get the rightmost component of the left, and then we connect it to the right component? Because okay, so then the idea here is uh, I've drew way too much on the screen, so it's a little bit confusing to to follow, and I apologize because again. If you're new to this, which some of you might be, um, I'm doing this as a problem solving. This isn't, I mean, hopefully I'm explaining it well as well, but some of it is going to be like, if, if you give me this problem in an interview, this is what you're going to get. And it's not necessarily a perfect explanation because not every time I'm going to be perfect immediately uh, knowing the, the answer. I, and I don't know the answer to this one. I don't know that these conditions hold. But the idea is that for each node, for each node, we connect the right component with the left, the rightmost of the left component. And the reason why we can do that is because which in a linked list order, in a pre-order order, the node that is right before, so we process, you know, current, left, right. So that means that the rightmost of the left component it's going to be right before the right component. Okay. I think that sounds right. Let me know in the comments or Discord if the explanation's a little bit off. Um, yeah, I think the idea here is just to get... Um, it, I'm always thinking about it backwards. Oh, sorry, I got some stuff in my eye. But basically, we're going to the left. Okay, so yeah, let, let's take this. So, and as we saw... Let, let me think, make sure that this is correct. And then after we did that, then we, now we could go to the next node because now we finished processing the pre-node. Now we, by going to the next node, you're effectively, uh, let me bring back it up just for one more second. Here, for example, um, let me change the color real quickly. Um, when we're processing one, let's say we already move all this other stuff, right? Um, once we move all this other stuff, then now we can go to the right node and then process this because wh what we've done now is just finish processing this node. And then, okay, maybe I think that's like I could, I don't know if I have a, I don't know if it's a strict proof. It is an invariant that we have kept. So we'll see, right? So current is equal to root. Right, so now while current is not none, what are we doing, right? As we set, we go, as we set, we go, okay, the the right node is equal to current dot right, and then the and then now we want to get the right most left node. Or right most on the left side of the subtree, right? Because the reason, and again, this is so that we know that this is the node that processed right before the right node. So then here we go, eh, where we're naming is hard, but 
uh, left, right, maybe, mm, probably a terrible name to be honest, is you go to current.left, um, yeah, mm, I'm just thinking about the edge cases. The edge cases is if left, right is none, then, um, then yeah, then actually then we're good with continuing, right? Yeah, I want to say continue, but that would just be infinite loop. So, um, we don't have a left node, so we're done here. So then here we would just want to increment. Maybe this is fine. Uh, uh, that right. And then else, so that means that there is a left right node. Then we do le while left right, that right is not none. Go left right is equal to left right dot right, right? So now we're going to, we went to the left and then we go to the right, rightmost element. Um, that has, is that true? Wait, hmm. Well, it is, hmm. I'm trying to think about edge cases still. And what if I have... So I'm so the case I'm thinking about, and I'm going to draw it out for y'all. Sorry, let me bring, bring it back up. And again, this is new to me, so yeah. So the case that I'm thinking about is something like... Let me bring it back to black. Is something like okay so let's say you have a one node you have you know whatever t the numbers don't really matter right so you have these nodes and then now let's say you want to get let's say i have this and then uh it, something to the left and then here right now here do we want this node or do we, this would be the right most node but I think this is the last node, right? So actually, I, I, I was wrong about saying that it is the rightmost node. I'm just thinking about edge cases. But basically, you want to get the node that is the last node that you process. And the last node that you process... And then actually do the analysis, which we have to think about. So the last node you process is not the rightmost node. So you don't just keep going right. It is the node in which in fact, you know, let's say this this node is uh I don't know, A, right? Oops. In fact, this node B, let's just say, and this is C. B is processed after A, so we, is so, we want to. So we keep on going the deepest. So we're almost doing a pre-order traversal, but in a reverse way of finding the right first, and then the left second, and then the current node. Okay. Like a reverse pre-order, so. Uh, like a post order kind of, but I know post order has another order, but um, okay, so maybe this isn't quite right. Okay, now I'm looking at the code again, so let me get rid of this. Um, but yeah, this is a tricky analysis, right? So okay, so this is wrong. Uh, maybe we'll find the the pre um, find the last node to be processed on the left. I think that's a good invariant to do. And then whatever we're doing, we should um, abide by that, even though my my original assumption is that I assume that the rightmost node was the last node to be processed, but that's not true, right? So, so yeah, so now we have to think about it again. Um, last node is equal to current.lev if the last node is none. I mean, this part is true. Um, so then we're done here, and then, oh, I forgot to continue, otherwise it's just weird. Okay, so then now, what, what happens, right? So, um, while, so that means that, effectively, what we always want, it's going to be a leaf node, 
right? So while last dot left is not none and last dot left is not oh that it's not none, right? Because basically the last node to be processed has to be a leaf node in a post or in a pre-order situation. Because otherwise you just keep on going left no matter what. So okay. So then here we go. Okay, if if this is not a leaf node, then if last dot right is not none, then last is equal to last dot right. Else last is equal to last dot left. Right? And then now that we find the last leaf node, then we can do last. Okay, current dot right is equal to, um, okay, so that's wrong. Wait, hang on. So last dot right is equal to um, the right, the previous right, and then the current dot right is equal to the previous current dot left, and then current dot left is equal to none. I think this is right, and then we move current as you go to the turn, current dot right to move to the next thing. Um, okay, let's see if this is right, and then we'll see if. Okay, so this is right so far. Let's draw the, the example that I had, which eh, this is kind of hard to think about. Hang on. So one is the root node. Uh, Okay, so I could do it this way. And then two, maybe four, five, the three has none, and then maybe six, none. Yep, okay. Six, none, and then seven, no, and then eight, nine, maybe. I don't know if that draws. Oh, yeah, wait, I put that. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, All right, let's run that real quick. Because then ideally, 9 is the last number before the 3, and that is correct. Okay. Um, so then the question is now, is it fast enough, right? So a, a naive reading of this is going to be linear time. Oh, sorry, um, n square, because this each node gets processed, and for each node that is processed, we do... Eff we do, well, we don't do a depth first search though, right? Um, but we do like something that's height of the left tree. So yeah, so this is gonna be, n squared time. So we have to think about how to optimize this a little bit, or at least maybe reword it. I think the idea is right, and it's good that we have something to build off, but it may be too slow, even though it's all of one extra space, but you know, I'd rather have all of n time and all of n space. So, okay, so let's go back to the drawing board a little bit in, the, in terms of just thinking about why this is no bueno. Like, what is the what is the bad case, right? The bad case, and I don't need to raise the top now because I'm just doing it. The bad case would be something like, the bad case now would be something like, okay, so literally everything to the left, except for one extra note. And then now after one iteration, you would have something like, to do, 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 do it, and then we get the we do the entire iteration uh, to the left side, and then it goes to basically this. And then this node, right? Because we connect the last node here, and that oops. And then the next one, we don't have a right node. Mm. So, okay, I think one optimization that we can do, which is clear, is that because now this, this node doesn't have a right node, right? 
that means that we can skip this stuff but is that enough because that then now we have to construct another case where this is you know which is fine but there's a couple of, okay let me think about this for a second um because now let's say okay so here actually we can just do a skip of you know if there's no right no then we just move everything to left to the right and we don't have to you know do the processing right but that said what if we do something like this okay let me erase this real quick again what if the input now is instead um you know something like this then in this case we would actually on on the the depth or on the search we would the last node is actually this node right so then we don't even have to worry about this that because the last node before the thing would would now be duh, 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 duh. and then now we have but then now this node using a different guy this node would actually be here right and then now this is very tough to think about so I'm just trying so now I think my solution worked but I'm trying to think about a more definitive way of saying uh, that it is linear time in terms of the processing right and this is going to use amortized analysis so it's a little bit trickier to say but i think it because okay so i think now let, okay yeah so let's go back to the the beginning tree first of all i think here another way of saying this is that given that there is a node here right how do you um process the right side right and here you can think about it instead of nodes you can think about it instead uh in terms of edges and in these edges you know this is the top one maybe you know maybe we can just ex um this, we always, if, whenever there's a node on the right side, we always process this, but we're getting rid of it next turn anyway, so it should be okay. But then here, once we reach a node, and once there are two thingies, left and right, well, what happens? Um, if we go right, Then we're saying that can I construct the worst case? Let me think about this. So then here we can say maybe we can do another one here, right? But then it would go dot 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 all the way through. But then when we process this node, we don't have to process it. We don't have to process anything to the left. So nothing. Maybe that's one way to say it, huh? Because I'm trying to think about the right way to say this node. We can only process this node once in terms of it being on the left side. Because every time after this, it will, um, there, there's no right node anymore, right? If it has a right node, then by definition, uh, everything on the left would not get processed the first time. So, and if it doesn't, then that's when everything on the left gets processed. Is that true though? Let me think. Because now, let's say we move everything to the left okay so now this moves everything to the left and then now we have a node here right 
remove this node here. And then what happens? And then on the next node, well, we don't process the write because maybe that's the way to go about it. Because let's say this is a little bit lower, right? Because we don't process this node. This will never be... This will never be on the left side again because after processing but I can generalize it right because this will be on the left side again kind of after we move it to the right but then here if there is a for okay so for here there are two cases one is if its parent has a right if it has if the parent has a right then it would get processed and then everything to the right of it would be a subtree and therefore it would have no left or no parent otherwise Man, this is hard to analyze. I think the amortization is correct in that each node can only be processed once. Um, but I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have, a, I have trouble explaining this, um, even though I feel like it's right. I guess the other thing we can do is just do, do a lot of random cases and analyze, analyze like literally but that's maybe too hardcore I'm just gonna give it a quick submit and then see what happens oh well what happens is that I forgot some cases <laughs> uh, I was too uh, spent too long uh, what is this visualize one two three so oh yeah I, I forgot to put in the case that we said we would which is that Which is that, um, yeah, if uh, if there's no nodes on the left, but if there's no node on the right, then we also, um, yeah. Hmm, why is this down? So current right is equal to current left, current left is none. That should still be okay. And then the last one will be, I mean, this is fine. The last node is empty anyway, right? And current is good. Why did I, why is that wrong? I did forget one case though. So it would time out anyway, to be honest, uh, because that that's the things that we were talking about where um, if current dot, let me just fix it anyway. If current dot right is none, then we just do current dot left. Oh, sorry, current dot right is your current dot left. And then we continue, um, well, current dot, um, right, did I mess that up? No, I think this is okay. Oh, and we have to set current dot left is none. Um, okay, maybe that, so that fixed it. Why did that fix it? Hmm, did I just forget? Huh. I did forget. I mean, I was talking about, we were talking about that case, but then I just forgot to actually write it out. Uh, very sloppy. <laughs> well, some of it is that I'm, I'm talking to camera because I, I just lost track of it. Um, why was that wrong before, though? Because the, there's no numbing to the right, so then now it moves the two to the left, uh, to the right. And then after that, it has... I mean, like, this should work without this code, though, right? It just... Oh, because the left side doesn't have any last. But that should be... Oh, oh, because the last is none now. Then we just move to the next one. Mm. 
Is that true? What am I doing? I'm just trying to. So there's this case. We move the two to the three. How did that get rid of the three? I, I'm, I'm just curious where my thing originally was wrong. Because I thought this was, full disclosure is that I thought this was for optimization purposes, but without this, this is wrong. I'm trying to figure out why. Like, hmm. So, focus on this. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's say, let's see. Uh, yeah, so we, have, we process the one node. It looks okay. And then by the time we process the two node, the three is gone. Dun, dun, dun. So we process the one node. Uh, okay. Last is equal to two. So then here we we find the three, right? The, this is gonna be. This should be three. Right. Yeah, the last node is two. Oh, then this logic is wrong. So that's why I'm debugging it, I guess, because this logic is wrong. Where the last last is you go to current dot left, which is the two node, right? Oh, this should be an or. Okay, that is a bad typo actually. But I'm glad that I caught it now versus, you know, we would have, caught, have to catch it anyway. Because this code is done for an optimization purposes so that it ensures the amortization is correct. But that's a bad typo. I did mean it to be that. But okay, and we have to get rid of the print statement. The easiest optimization, getting rid of print statements. Um, hmm. All right, let's try again. Okay. Yeah. And we can also, let me try again without this optimization because then I think that actually is really bad because it should still work. But then it should be n square maybe. Uh, maybe not. Okay, then I have no idea to be honest. Hmm. I mean, I feel like this is n squared the way that I did it without this optimization, but apparently didn't do anything with respect to the test cases. Um, unless I'm just wrong on the analysis in general, but which is possible as well. No, because do, 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 if I have someone like that, a linked list, we get the last element, and then the next time. Yeah, because this, I don't know why this is slower actually. That's really weird. Because if current dot right is none, then, yeah, because then we do all this work. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I, uh, maybe today is just a bad analysis day. I feel like the idea is correct. Um, but you know it's right child points to the next um up here. Yeah, I mean we knew that. I don't know. Hmm. So that means that Yeah, the last element here points to the right, which is fine. So basically another way of thinking about it is that we chop off the right side. We put it into the la last thing, and then we move the left over. Still trying to think about how to explain this as a linear. How, what, I, I, how did I do it last time, anyway? Typo to side. No, I guess I just did the pre-order thing. And this is just as fast, so maybe, or faster even, but um, hmm. 
let's try to visualize this. Like finding this note, right? Is that always going to be true that Because then now, let's say we have, yeah, because the case that I'm trying to think about, and maybe I'm going to give up soon on the explanation, is something like, you know, let's, so let's say I have something like, and then just like, you know, a lot of notes here, right? And then let's say this node, right? So then the first thing you would do is, like I said, you chop off the right and then put it here on the, the last node. And then now let's say we're here, right? Here, if you don't do the, the speed up trick that we said, we'll, we'll look at the last node anyway, again. Oh. Maybe there is an optimization here. No, because it could have been that the last node is here. And then in that case, you, you would have to chop it off and put it in the left anyway. Um, well, I mean, there is an optimization, but maybe not the one that I think of. But then you still have to go to the last node to the left, right? which is the one that we've just visited, but that's besides the point. And then here, you would do it again. So that, that, that's what my if statement was trying to do. And then here, you're already Gucci. Well, you would move this to here, but that's, you know, you just look at the leftmost thing here. So mm, then this goes to here. but we never visited these trees to begin with, so it's fine. I, I don't have a proof for you, friends. Uh, not today. Maybe I'm just a little bit tired, but I'm, I feel like I'm missing some parts of this. Though it works, apparently, so yeah. Anyway, that's all I have. This is a long video. I gotta take a break. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye. Oh, and also, I guess if you do have a better explanation, let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, all right. Bye-bye. Uh, I actually have an alternate. Uh, I, I know that I said goodbye and I came back. But I actually, and if you are watching this, let me know in the comments. So mad props to you. Uh, my, my, and to prove that you are up to here, let me know if you can watch the movie Nope by Jordan Peele. I'm actually hoping to watch it soon, but I keep on being too tired lately. But in any case, um, I think I, there is another way to do this problem, which I, I think I did it the weird way, but and as a result, the proof is harder, even though I think they're the same complexity. And the thing that I'm talking about is that instead of doing, like instead of trying to get the node before, what I can do actually, is convert it to the rightmost node, right? And let me, uh, and I think that's that's the thing that I was doing earlier, but then I kind of thought to myself and I couldn't prove it as easily, right? And what I mean by that is, let me draw it out again. Um, the idea here now, instead of, instead of getting the, the previous node every time, what we can do, oops, what we can do instead is, just do it to the right, the left node's rightmost node. What I'm, what do I mean by that, right? Let's say we have something like this, right? Um, and yeah, and maybe even here we have left left nodes, but and then now I'm gonna change the color real quickly. Uh, this right subtree, right? Um, that will will process. And here, as if previously. Our original algorithm, we would have said something like, let's, let's just move it to here, right? Um, and it makes sense because this is the last node that is processed. But what if instead, 
what if instead we move it to the rightmost node, which is here? Well, this, the, the thing about moving it here, right, and the reason why this, um, this is just as good is because when we process this node, what are we doing? What are we going to do, right? When we and by definition, this node does not have a right node, but when we do move it here, by definition, we're going to do it again, which is then now it goes to the leftmost most my node. So that means that this thing, this thing, this entire subtree will move to here, right? Next. And also by definition, when we process this, that this thing will move again to here, right? And so until this node, until we find a node that doesn't have a left subtree, right? And this way, um, so the two things, right? One is that, well, we can code this, so no problem. And the reason why, and you can see that these are equivalent. We're just doing it, skipping steps, right? Because now, um, yeah, so I hope that it makes sense that these are equivalent because now you're just skipping steps, right? But now the amortization math is easier to show. Why? Because that means that for each node that we're processing, meaning, and, and by that I mean, um, say, this one initially, but eventually this one, and so forth, right, dot, dot, dot. Well, we this node can only be processed once, right? Oh, sorry, maybe another way of saying it, this node, this node, again, can only be on the rightmost path once, right? Because after we process this as the rightmost path, this goes to the, a lot of it goes to the left, right? So that means that in um, so that this path now will, will swing to the left. So therefore, if we're going down this path, if we're going down this path, ooh, ooh, how did that happen? If we're going down this path, it means that it is now on the left side afterwards. Oh, sorry, it, is now on the, it, it was on the left side, but now it's going to be on the right side on the next attempt. And therefore, this edge, you, this edge, I'm trying to bring another color. Therefore, this edge will only be processed twice. Once on the initial, you know, from the top going to the right, and then only once on the left side. So because of that, this edge will only be processed twice. We can now prove that everything is... Um, linear and be, and because this is equivalent to my code it has the equivalent uh, be, because you could do it in a, a, a one transformation that this is going to have the same complexity I think that's basically the proof maybe um, even though my code is much harder but then now we can also write this in what 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 um what I thought was I what I thought I was going to write in the first time but apparently they're equivalent. We just had to prove it, um, which is that while well, last dot right is not none, then yeah. And then now last and then now, this should work as well if my understanding is correct. Um, and uh, what's it one, two, no three, something like that. I think that was the case I was wrong on. Yeah, okay. Let's give it a submit, see if that works faster. It's definitely more com uh, Maybe some of this measurement is because it's so fast that it is just random fluctuation. But at least now, as you can see, the code is much easier. And we have a proof of why this code is equivalent than the other one. It's just that instead of moving it one by one, my my other code, just move it all one together. and. Now, because of the same structure, you could see the amortization math easier, at least for me. Maybe you could have gone it the other way. Anyway, so this is going to be linear time, constant space. I think I cut out a little bit earlier on the last video anyway. So yeah, um, glad I finally resolved it happily. So yeah, let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.